Hey everyone, so today we're gonna do another UI audit of a design that was sent to us by one of the subscribers. So first of all I have to say that I really like the glow effect on the progress bar, really nicely done. The first issue that I noticed about this design was the thickness of icons. As you can see, the arrows are a little bit thicker than the heart, so for consistency it's good to have the strokes exactly the same size. And let's focus on the very first of the screens, which is basically the playlist. So that little overlay that is darkening the photo, it makes sense to have it on the top to show the main navigation, but I think it makes even more sense to actually have it on the bottom to show the artist name. And let's make it a little bit darker. The next thing is the top bar. I think that it has to stand out a little bit more, so I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. A quick square check of the alignment, but I see we are at 32, 24 and 16, which is great. There is only one place where the alignment is a little bit off and that's with the big play button. So it needs to be moved a little bit more to the right. Triangles are tricky. So if you want to align a triangle inside a circle, it's good to actually create a much smaller circle in the middle and then align the edges of the triangle to that smaller circle. That way it's gonna be visually centered. The shadows of the raised card are just a little bit too dark. So we're gonna make the card lighter cause when it's closer to you it's a little bit lighter and let's make the shadows a little bit softer. I'm gonna also move the fonts a little bit so they are better aligned vertically. And now let's apply that to all the other fonts. The more icon is a little bit too pronounced, it's a little bit too bright, so let's make it a little bit darker. It's also good to keep all the instances of the play button with the same or similar radius of the rounded corners. We could also use that really nice glowing line as the selection indicator for the tabs. And to let the icons breathe a little bit, let's make the tab bar a little bit higher. Okay, and now my version of this screen, so I'm just gonna duplicate it and we'll see what else we can change. So keep in mind that these are not mistakes, but it's just the things that I would personally do if I was the designer behind this. So the first thing would be to make the dark mode a little bit darker and then the green a lot more pronounced. I'd also enlarge the photo of the currently playing song a little bit, so when it's actually animating, the whole scaling could be a fluid thing of enlarging both the card and the photo. I'd also remove the inner shadows from the song photos and play with the icons a little bit. Now obviously this is a purely aesthetic thing, but it's really good to have a photo with a similar color tone to the rest of the app for the presentation purposes. So obviously it's gonna be a different photo every time in a real product, but if you're gonna show it off on Dribbble or just in your portfolio anywhere, it's good to have a very similar color tone so I'm just gonna copy the style of one of the layers and I'm gonna paste it here. And now adjusting the colors of the cards a little bit, keeping in mind that the card that's raised, so it has to be closer to you, it's gonna be lighter than the rest. And since it's closer, it can actually be a little bit taller. Now that we have our background set up, we can also play around with some gradients for both the tab bar and the backgrounds. This is gonna make the whole thing a little bit more polished and a little bit more natural. But of course we're gonna go for very subtle gradients here, so nothing over the top. I'm making some small adjustments to the shadows so they're gonna match the new backgrounds and also some changes to the top bar selector. One last thing to do here is to separate those more icon dots from each other so they're a lot easier to see. But aside from a couple of little things, the design is actually very well structured and it's very well grouped and the groups are all named, so it's really good on that side. So it's just a little minor things, but overall great work. So if you want me to review your design, just send it over and I'll have a look. It's best to just send me a sketch file or a Figma file because I don't really work with Adobe XD. And of course, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, if you liked this video, like the video and share it on social media so it's gonna help me grow the channel. And if you want to learn how to get better at UI design, go check out our book. You can get 50 pages completely free. See you next time, cheers!